we find ourselves reading in the weekly portion the book of Exodus, Sefer Shemot. The book of Exodus is the book of redemption, Sefer HaGeula. We were redeemed from Egypt and we were saved from the tentacles of assimilation and the threat of disappearing as a people. The Sefer says, the book says, Vayakum Melech Hadash al Mitzrayim Asher Gloyadayat Yosef. That a new king arose, a new pharaoh that did not recognize Yosef. We understand this in the literal term as either a new king that did not know Joseph literally, or the same king with the new decrees, and he chose to ignore the goodness that Yosef had imposed on Egypt. Vayakum Melech Hadash al Mitzrayim Asheloedayat Yosef means something even deeper than that. What it really means is that there was a king who came to Egypt and with a new attitude. And the attitude was that he missed out completely in analyzing the nature of the Jewish people the nature of Yosef, and the nature of the Jewish people. He did not recognize the fact that Yosef, the more he was humiliated, the more he was thrown down, the more he would rise and be successful. He was thrown and sold by his brothers in a pit, sold to Egypt, yet he rose to be the head, the head of the household of Potiphar. When Potiphar's wife falsely accused him and threw him into the pit again, again he rose to become the viceroy of Egypt and head of all Egypt and the pharaoh just being a symbol of power. So from here we see a very interesting thing that Paro did not see the nature of Yosef and he did fail to recognize that that nature of Yosef, that nature of survival, the nature of overcoming all obstacles against all odds when things are going bad, when there's assimilation, when, when there's intermarriage, when the 60% of our communities in America are threatened with assimilation and intermarriage, and everything seems so black and negative, nevertheless, we should not underestimate the spark of Yosef. That spark which survives under greatest duress, that spark which survives against all threats, against all assimilation, against all danger, the spark of Yosef arises to the surface to survive and be successful. And that's the nature of the Jewish people. So today we find ourselves, we are living in tremendous times. We have an existential threat in Israel from within and without. We have a spiritual existential threat in the Gola, in the exile, in the United States and in Europe, South America and the rest of the world, where the Jews are threatened daily. More Jews light a Christmas tree than light Hanukkiot on Hanukkah. That is a fact. But we cannot give up. We cannot let go of the spark of Yosef, which is a redeeming factor here. And we do that through outreach, as Yosef outreached to his brothers, as Yosef and later on Moshe went out to identify, to sympathize with his brothers and bring them close to the Torah. That is our mission today. We all are little Yosefs. We all are little Moshe Rabbeinus. We're all little Moses. We have to go out there and apply the sacrifice that they did with love for our Jewish brethren to bring them close to the Torah. We must go to the universities and the schools and wherever young people gather. And we must bring them in with love, understanding, compassion, and teaching them and showing them that Judaism and the Torah is the most beautiful of all religions in the world. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom.